Welcome back, awesome action toy fans and subscribers. So here is my, I'm not sure what to call this, my Fast and Furious vehicle, I guess. Uh, I have just charged the uh, battery, so I'm not going to play yet. So you're going to witness my first play of this. Let me just plug this in and see if it works. Then after that, I will, I guess, make a little course in my living room here or something. And then, oops, sorry. And then I will see how good or bad this is. I'm hoping it's going to be really good, you know. It's exciting, quite exciting for me because it is a nice looking vehicle. Very nice looking. You know, it says 112 on the box. It's not 112, as I said in the first video, which should be up there somewhere. It's definitely 118. And even 118, you can't really get a 118 figure inside the uh, cockpit. Because it's their feet won't fit. Let me see. Is that going to close? For oh, okay, it's closed. Now I've got the screw somewhere. So that battery is charged. It was plugged in and it was all flashing until the green light went solid. So, quantum instructions that is charged. That is in. I did buy some batteries for the controller. They look like Duracell, but it's a Chinese brand. No idea what brand that is. I hope it's the right size. It should be double A. Yeah, double A it says on there. And I'm sure I remembered rightly, otherwise I'd have to go buy some triple A's. Okay, it's three batteries for the controller if memory serves from last night. Yeah, okay, let's put these in. Make sure these are turned off first with the switch. Off, okay. But this feels so light and cheap, especially compared to the vehicle. The vehicle feels quite heavy and, you know, high quality build, but this controller just feels a bit, yeah. Okay, that has power. Away. That has power. Oops. And nothing is happening. What? Oh, because I'm doing. Oh, that's going to be fast. <laughs> I'm scared of that. Let's, let's try not to crash my uh, my foot my camera. Woo! <laughs> yeah, that is rather fast. Okay, let me power that off. I'm gonna turn this. I'm gonna pause this video and get this set up and the camera set up so you can see what it's like on the actual ground and have a little play. So I'll be back in a few minutes for me and then just a second for you. Okay, let's turn this on. It's on. Let's see what it's like. Oh, that was fast. Oh, acid rain knocked over. Over the bottles. It's got a good uh, climbing ability. That is a lot of fun. And am 
nice slidey floor, it skids a lot as well. Very, very nice. A great little buy. Lots of fun for your figures. And I'll turn my phone. <laughs> okay. So here it is. Nice looking vehicle. See how dusty my floor is here. Beijing is notoriously dusty. Great fun. Uh, good scale for 118. Just that it's difficult to fit the uh, figures inside. Because that floor is not very deep. And this is not very deep either, but you could, I guess, mount a gunner figures on top, holding onto that. Great, great vehicle, large in size. Uh, worth getting, I think.